Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Ryan McIntyre of Twin Flames Reality and this is your personal reading. The Divine Masculine and Feminine Energies. We have a lot of card decks here. Just wanted to show you that we will be using. Um, we have the Twin Flame Journey Oracle. We have the Angel Answers, Romance Angels, Starseed Oracle, Divine uh, Master Oracle, um, Chakra Healing Cards, um, and another Chakra Healing Card deck here. So what we want to do is begin by going into the energies. I know we have the full moon beginning tomorrow. So where is the energy of your union right now? What is going on? The crystal there for some energetic support. <laughs> All right, so the first cards we're going to pull are from the Twin Flame Journey Oracle. We'll pull uh, five for the masculine and five for the feminine. Self worth, commitment, received, patience, ascending, material world. So, material world over here. Cool. So, the first card, self-worth. And this is about the masculine claiming his power. This is about coming into greater alignment within himself understanding himself, expressing himself properly through, you know, his devotion to God, it's committing to his journey more fully, and it's creating this union, this connection to come together. He's still working through these places within himself where he hasn't been feeling received um, in his life. And that is about, you know, Fully claiming what is yours, fully claiming your truth, and uh, moving through um, any places within himself where he's afraid to receive or he's afraid to give um, because of the past. And, and trusting that this time around things are really coming together in true form. And the next card is patience. So this is about the masculine having patience. As he's coming into his own, as he's really ascending and growing his vibration. And he's coming together in union. We have the two paddles here on the boat. Two people on that boat heading towards the light, heading towards heaven on earth, creating this material world for himself as the masculine and really focusing on his material possessions. Um, his financial stability, grounding into a very sustainable uh, relationship with his woman. Very cool stuff here for the masculine. Now we will pull five cards for the feminine. Right. More. Cool. There is a full moon, and we have a full moon card for the feminine health for 
perfect. So the first card is signs. So where are you being led, feminine, through, you know, your feelings? Like, where is God really taking you? What is God showing you? Because I feel like there's something about recognition with this full moon. You're going you're gonna to realize, like, what's real for you. You're going to realize that you actually um, see yourself with your person. You're, you're recognizing their soul um, and how it connects to yours. And it's through you. Work you've been doing, you've been devoting yourself to God, you've been spending time in solitude, and just getting clear on what's real for you. What is your next step? And the way that you manifest, you know, in any way in your life is through God, is through devotion, is through connection to God. And we have tribe as the next card. So this is about stepping into, you know, um, relationships that are actually supporting you. Who is your soul tribe? You know, who are those that really care and really can help you um, find clarity? Because I feel like the way you were doing it um, was keeping you away from what's real for you. Um, but you're with this full moon cycle, you're really going to recognize, like, oh, that's not for me. And this really, this is my next choice. This is my new direction. So just allow you know, allow yourself to be shown. Allow yourself this new clarity with this full moon feminine. It's great. So now we can uh, pull three more cards here for the blocks uh, in the union. cards here but we'll let that one that popped out go. so we have four cards here all right overall energy is regret fear separation and reinvention so what this brings up is what is it that you are regretting what is it that you're afraid of, right? What is it? And it could just be, you know, that there's not really regret, but there's um, a feeling of, you know, you fucked up in the past or things, you know, just didn't uh, properly work out and you're like feeling doomed or like things aren't going to come together. We can let that go, right? We can let go that fear of the past uh, as well. This fear of like opening up completely. And really working through the feelings of the pain that separation brings up. I just did a video um, on pain and, and what it's really showing you in your union. So definitely go check that video out. And the next part is reinvention. So it's about reinventing yourselves. Really seeing your power. Really seeing the love that you both share. And that you've never truly been separated. It's only your... Um, illusions that need to be healed in order to bring this union together. Great. So we're done with this deck now. We will go to these healing chakra cards where, um, you know, they perfectly will show you where you're blocked in your union. All right, so overall, you know, energy of the union here as well. And we have quest. So this is about, you know, this is throat chakra. It's about stepping onto the journey and like voicing that to yourself. Like, hey, I'm ready to go all in on this path. I'm not going to step off the path anymore. And another throat chakra here is bittersweet. And what I get is like you're going to have to like let go of something in order to have what it is that you really desire in your heart. And maybe right now it feels like, wow, like um, I have to let go of something to have true love. But um, 
it's actually going to give you everything you desire. So maybe it's got you feeling upset right now, but soon enough things will come together. And we have uh, this um, root chakra card for action. And this is about, you know, grounding into the perfection of God, sharing that truth with the world, sharing that truth with others, and, and just trusting that that's uh, safe. You know, it's safe to move forward. It's safe to really love and be loved. Next, we have the angel answers here. And if you just want to ask three questions, you can pause this video now and I will pull three cards for you. All right, so we have your ready, we have within the next few weeks, and we have it's up to you. So it's time, you're ready, you've done the work, you've mastered the things you've needed to master to get to this place of really coming into a harmonious relationship with your twin flame, and within the next few weeks, things are physically going to be shifting and showing up, and it's up to you. Like, do you really believe in this? Are you really um, being honest and truthful with yourself on what's real for you? And that's different for all of us, but still the same at the core to trust our creator and trust to make and take these next steps in our lives. So wonderful. So next we're going to pull the romance angels for you guys. Just overall energy. First card is flirt. And then unrequited love and then wedding. So maybe uh, the first card is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is about opening up to joy, to uh, light vibes, just being yourself, connecting with your person or connecting just with others even, not giving your sexual energy away, but just opening up to the joy within yourself. Next is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So maybe you're dealing with a situation where that's the reality, but also it's about if this is your twin flame, like what is it really being shown to you so that you can have this wedding? I feel like once you let something go or somebody go, um, you're going to be really... Um, coming together with that person or another person. Um, but it's all about choosing to uh, allow God to show you what's real. And God will. God always does. You know, the last cards we will pull for today are from the Starseed Oracle and the Ascended Master uh, Oracle. Great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. So, and then we have fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. So, what I get from this is that, you know, where you might have had a lot of conflict with your twin flame uh, in the past, it's turning into just like a lot of love and a lot of rich uh, connection. So, just let this anger, you know, release and just surrender. You know, and unifying with your twin flame through your surrender. Um, fall into God's arms, and God will always lead you home. The masters here. You yeah, have focus upon your strengths. Where do you need to focus right now and trust? So just focus on uh, what you have to give, and you will receive. And trust that this is your next step. Thank you, guys. And if you would desire a personal reading from me or uh, Twin Flame coaching to help you permanently heal separation from your Twin Flame, 
please head to my website at twinflamesreality.com or you can comment below or send me an email at guidancewithryan1111 at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.